Welcome back to my home. Uh, the last time you were here was about six years ago and a lot has changed. I'm really excited to give you a tour of our, our newly renovated home. We did consider moving, uh, but our elementary school is right across the street, so we wanted to stay very close. I just kept coming back to our house thinking, you know what, this lot is better than the other ones that we had been interested in, and we knew we could add to it. We added another level, so we had to totally change the layout of the house. So the front door used to be right over here, and then there was a bedroom right over here, which was quite small. So now we've got the front door here, a big closet, and then the cabinet too, and a little entranceway as well. So this used to be where the front door was. We've put a window in here, and then we also put up a wall here to allow for our bedroom, which is just right here. Okay, so this room used to be the living room. We had a sectional that kind of wrapped around under this window here along the wall. It is now the master bedroom. The window is the same, and we actually stole a little bit of space from what was the dining room to add a larger master bedroom closet. This room used to be our dining room. It is now our daughter's bedroom. She was probably three years old when the, the last video happened. She used to have a bedroom in the basement. Because she's nine, she's kind of outgrown pink. Uh, she is obsessed with cats, so she wanted to create a gallery wall of cats. We do have a cat as well. And um, she had a, a lot of say in decorating and picked out the bedding and that sort of thing. So this is now the boys' room. They share it together. And they used to have a bedroom in the basement that they shared with bunk beds. Uh, we didn't actually change anything. This used to be our room. We just changed the furniture and put a larger closet in for them. So this room used to be our kitchen. We had the extension doors that led to the back deck. We've since moved those doors upstairs to the renovated space. And then we made this into the family room so the kids have a place to hang out with their friends. So when you come upstairs, it's very open. I was inspired by other homes I'd seen. In fact, there's a laneway house behind us. I just loved how they reversed it so that the living, dining, and kitchen were all upstairs and that allowed for higher ceiling height, skylights, and then you could also see the view that way. I think the jumping off point, there was a couple. Because I own a store and I'm exposed to so much product, I go on all the buying trips, I could kind of go any direction with this and it really started with the little pendant lights over the kitchen island. I loved how they had a little touch of brass, the black, and then the white marble. So that was kind of the direction I thought I'll kind of keep it more neutral and sophisticated. My default sort of way of decorating is quite minimalist. So when I have to decorate a shelf, like say above the kitchen cabinets, it took me a while. It, I don't do the merchandising for the store, so it was sort of a lot of playing around with what's going to work, but I wanted to add some sort of natural elements that would tie in with the rest of the decor in the home. The light fixture over the dining room table, it actually is one of my favorite things in the home. It's oversized, you can see it from the street when the light's on. I love the gold, it's a really nice touch, and I also love the scale of it. One of my favorite things in the home is the fireplace that has the linear sort of bench that wraps around and creates a banquette into the dining room. It was one of those things when I'm talking to the millwork guy, he didn't quite understand what I was describing. And then at the end, it was like, wow, like he kind of got it. It keeps it looking larger and also allows for extra seating and creates a surface for, for decor. We were limited to the square footage. They wouldn't allow for the deck to extend beyond the house because of all the setback rules. So the decks had to be inset. But what that allowed for is for them to be covered. So they've got you know high ceilings and then we've also got lighting outside. And that is good because in Vancouver it rains a lot. So we can enjoy the, the decks all year round. The yellow door you had on the old house, did you know that that became famous? No. <laughs> I'm watching a video on YouTube. It has like three million views. <laughs> Why is that? I'm sorry, but it's like, like there's so many better houses. That house resonated with people. So weird. And, and I can't delete it. <laughs> <laughs> because I can't handle it. Like, I'm sorry, but I just, I'm so over it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm so grateful that you guys came and did it. But it's yeah. like, same time, it's like, 
It's like, it's like looking back at pictures of you in the 80s or something, you know what I mean? I would definitely say our house has grown up now. And I think my aesthetic has grown up as well. When you work in the retail industry and you're exposed to so much, you can kind of get caught up in certain trends. And, and I've always loved the more natural kind of look. And so this to me is more timeless and it's definitely not something I'm gonna be changing anytime soon.